What's up my friends, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're four days away only from Valentine's Day. So I wanted to share a recipe with you that would suit that theme, but I didn't want it to be cheesy. So here's what I did. Instead of creating a cocktail that would be based on love stories or love story characters, stuff like that, I decided I would go with something that I believe everybody would love. How's that for a team? I think it's great, plus it has a beautiful color and a delicious little floral aftertaste, so it's perfect for Valentine's Day, but not just that. It's great for any day of the year, actually, because it is delicious. So if you guys are ready, let's go make together the bittersweet art. Let's go. So, the bittersweet art, a riff on a cocktail I created a little while back, the little wing. That was a riff on another cocktail, the paper plane. That was a riff on a classic, the last word. And the fun part about all this is that's not even a relevant information. Nope, I just thought it was fun to say. But that's not completely accurate. I think it is relevant to talk about the creation of the little wing and why is it tied to the bittersweet heart. When I created the little wing, I wanted to create something that would please everyone. From the true whiskey lovers out there to the one that are afraid of whiskey, the one that love bitterness and the one that didn't acquire its taste yet. So I based myself on the paper plane, which is already a crowd pleaser, but I took some bitterness out of the equation by removing the Amaro Nanino and replaced it by some floral notes by adding some Saint Germain elderflower liqueur. Then I added a few slices of cucumber for extra freshness to balance the extra sweetness that's added by the Saint Germain in comparison to the Nonino, and I think it worked out pretty well. We kept that on the bar menu for years, and honestly, I never served it to anyone who disliked it. So when I decided I wanted to create another cocktail everybody would love for this year's Valentine's Day, I thought why not using the same flavor spectrum of the Little Wing, but in a different way. But before we talk about the ingredients, let me ask you something. Are you planning on going crazy this year on an expensive bottle for Valentine's Day? Or I don't know, maybe something like a cool getaway or a fancy dinner for the loved one? If so, well, you need to hear this. But before, let me go grab something. I'll be right back. Because I know you know your booze, I know that you know that the right bottles, like this one, can soar in value over time. And that's usually due to rarity or demand. And you know, Masterworks uses the same principles to hopefully improve your lives, but not with alcohol. You see, Masterworks deals in fine art from legends like Picasso, Banksy, and Basquiat, basically the most desirable artists in the world, whose works hang in museums and sell for millions. So Masterworks revolutionized the process of breaking this art in smaller pieces for you to invest in. And the really cool part is what happens after you get this art in your portfolio. Because if Masterworks resells a piece at profit, as they did for every sale so far, you get your share of the proceeds. And some of you may already have seen a payout because Masterworks sold two paintings just since my last video one Laurel and one Sicily Brown. Those sales resulted in a respective 10 and 35% net return on investment. And that could be you, but with results like that, you will not be surprised. There's a wait list to get started on Masterworks. But the great news for you, my subscribers, you can skip that wait list simply by clicking the link in the description below. So thank you very much, Masterworks, for sponsoring this episode. Now, let's go back to our cocktail. All right, so back to the cocktail, the bittersweet art. What you're gonna need is a Nero tequila. And I would like to point out that even if I prefer this cocktail with a Nero tequila, guess what? I tried it and it's also good with Blanco and a Reposado. Now you're also gonna need some Aperol, Grenadine, and if you want to follow my recipe for the grenadine, link is going to be up here. And also, if you want to support the channel, we've launched our Patreon recently. And there's one here where I share every month an e-booklet where I cover everything that we talked about the previous month. So all my syrups are already there. So I'm going to link that in the description below. Now you're also going to need some orange blossom water, slices of cucumber, fresh lime juice, and saline solution. 
When I made my old fashioned video a couple of weeks ago, I used Selling Solution as my secret ingredient to make the old fashioned even better. And I decided from now on, every cocktail I make on the channel, I will try them with and without. And if it's better with the Selling Solution, I would add it to the ingredients list. And even if it's always kind of optional in this one, it makes a huge difference. I highly recommend it. Now, the cocktail. So first in a cocktail shaker, we're going to add two long slices of cucumber and then using a muddler, we're going to muddle the slices. So then we're going to add two ounces of Añero tequila or 60 mils. Half an ounce or 50 mils of Aperol. Half an ounce or 50 mils of the grenadine. Two dashes of orange blossom water. Four drops of 10% saline solution. So that's 10 grams of salt for 90 grams of water. And three quarters of an ounce or 22.5 mils of freshly squeezed lime juice. Then we're going to fill our shaker with ice and we're going to shake it vigorously for about 10 seconds. We're going to fine strain it in a chilled cocktail coupe. And we're going to garnish it with a little piece of cucumber. And there go my friends, the bittersweet art. Happy Valentine's Day. Cheers. Hmm. For me, this is fantastic. You get the beautiful, sweet, and earthy notes of the agave that's rounded up by the time it passed in the barrel because it's an añero. The bitterness from the apple is no more bitter than just a splash of grapefruit juice in a cocktail, for example. So there's no need to be afraid of that in the cocktail, it really passes really easily. Then you get some tart sweetness because of the grenadine and the pomegranate and the lime juice, a hint of floral notes, but it's not parfumey, it's just perfectly balanced for me. And a little freshness from the cucumber that really, really makes it super bright. I love this cocktail. I really hope everyone that will try it will love it. So my friends, this is it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you go to turn that bell if you want to make sure not to miss the next video. Until then, thank you very much again. Happy Valentine's Day and see you very soon. Cheers. Bye. No, for real. It's really good. <laughs>